feel very uneasy about making a vlog here in Thailand when the coronavirus is wrecking such havoc across the world, when people are losing their lives and countries are effectively going into a lockdown. But I do have my story to share on what I'm doing in Thailand, the steps I've taken to protect my family and why I'm in such a beautiful place like Koh Chang to stay safe. It's an odd, confusing experience being holed up on such a beautiful island of Koh Chang that I continuously feel like I'm on holiday, but that's not the case. I'm here to self-isolate myself and my family. My youngest had an issue with his lungs when he was younger and there's no way I want his health compromised and that's why we're here at a time when hospitals might be stretched. It's a time for self-discipline. I could be on this island over 30 days. I've set up my workstation and every day I approach this as a working day. The challenges of operating a business now are huge and we must be creative and adapt. So many unanswered questions and so much uncertainty. It's actually one of the most surreal and eerie experiences that I'm sure any of us have seen in our lifetime. As my family and I packed our car and left from Patia uh, a few days ago, as we came into checkpoints, and there were two on the way to Koh Chang, it felt like we're in some kind of horror movie. As the army glared into our windows, COVID, COVID, getting the temperature of our kids and myself. It's exactly what they should be doing, but it's frightening for the kids. And it's really odd being in paradise still because it gives an illusion that all is well. I can feel the sun on my back. And somehow it feels a disrespect to some of the tragic and awful things that are going on across this world. And, you know, I'm following the UK story and my heart goes out to those in the service industry and the NHS. Meanwhile, I'm here. And I feel a bit privileged, but I had to do what I felt was right. And that was get my family away from the masses until we understand what's going on with coronavirus and just trying to stay safe. That's all I want to do, keep my family safe.